So one more thing is that he is uh, you can always find him here in Baguio City. And so a lot of people are actually asking you sino pa si John Sawak? So paano po paano nag-umpisa ang um, career, yung career sa music? Tagalog? Yeah. Paano? Tagalog. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> Uh, when I started uh, a church, it's not yet a career, but it, it's it's where I started my musical journey. That's right. So my mom uh, forcefully placed me in the church, <laughs> <laughs> or else. <laughs> so I went to the church, and luckily enough, we were blessed enough. Na dun ako na ng instruments. Through the youth uh, youth organization inside the church, so there I started, I started as a bassist, and mm -hmm. drummer, or drumist, and then the guitar, 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 I've never been a vocal. <laughs> I've never been a vocal during those times, and until okay, just to cut it short, until. I, I tried forming a band. I posted online that I'm looking for uh, a drummer, a guitar, a bassist, and then there people contacted me online. So we made the band. We named it. So we had a band before in church. And, and but then I have to get out of the church. Na ano? Because I'm not going to play there. Because the mga band ako dun, na matitigas rin yung ulo, nag-replace sila ng Metallica inside the church. Pinapagalitan kami lagi. So yun, I, I, I have to force, I, I have to go out and explore them the kind of music outside. So yun, there, 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 I started, uh, yun na, nag-ipag-battle of the bands. After Battle of the Bands, hanggang sa years went by, uh, I, I have to pitch, kailangan ko na magturo, so I stopped. Banda mo, nagturo ako lang around 3 years Pero na-miss ko yung pagbabanda So, fair, I went back sa banda-banda ulit But as an acoustic naman nagiging na kilala ko yung mga ibang acoustic uh, artists dito sa Baguio So, I joined them And then there, I, I started playing as an acoustic artist dito sa Baguio And then, just to cut it short again uh, Years come by, gusto ko na namang ibang ano na naman uh, I want to try something else. I want to reach higher heights, greater heights. Yeah. So I went to Manila. I went to Manila because, luckily enough, Dennis Aturno was able to uh, see my videos on YouTube and ask me if I want to form a band with him mm -hmm. as the manager. So he asked, yung mga, anak ko yung mga naunang rockstar. Mm -hmm. mga naunang rockstar sa mga anak rin nila sila yung mga nakasama ko sa Manila and then yun nga medyo mahina, mahi, mahirap 
thing. Mm-hmm. This car dance Manila. So I joined the band called Pyromania now. Another band in Manila. And shout out to Pyromania Brothers who are in Manila. And there, I, I, I've been the baser. The baser of those bands. And then the vocaler of the band Rockstar 3. There. And then I went here. Na, na pandemic na. Na udlog na ng mga, yeah. uh, mga plans. Mga uh, out of the country gates, out of town gates, na cancel lahat kasi nga dahil sa pandemic. So I had to force myself again na umuwi yung Baguio. And then, yun, dun, dito na ako ulit, nag-compose-compose ng mga kanta, pinost ko ulit online. And then, sometimes, yun, may mga kanta tayong nagbabiral. Yun nga. Yun, yun. Yung mga seryoso, yung mag- mag- magagandang kanta ko, hindi masyado nagbabiral. Hindi masyado nagbabiral. Pero yung mga kalokohan kanta ko, yun yung nagbabiral. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's the very sh- long, actually. So, but I tried to... Cut it short the best way I can. You, that's how I started and where I am. That's how it's going so far. Thank you very much. So, yeah, to cut it short, marami ka rin nang nalampasan mga, at ma- marami ka rin nagawan ng mga uh, songs. Diba? So, mostly lahat yung mga kanta mo are mostly compositions. Yes, yes. So, regarding what's of composition mo, ano yung pinaka- uh, magandang impact na composition mo na sa tingin mo is parang gustong gusto ng mga tao. Uh, I cannot say pinakamaganda. <laughs> but pinaka may impact yan. Uh, pinakamaganda kasi for me, I, I, I really love it. Um, the song is okay. Yung ginawa ko yun. Kasi it's just a paste from a Chinese TikTok melody. So it's a TikTok melody siya. So, pinalitan ko lang ng ano, pinalitan ko lang ng lyrics na Iloka, which is the bad song. Yun yung pinaka nag-viral so far. Yeah. Yeah, so doon nila, yung ibang tao, doon nila ako nakilala. Bucks. Shout out to the Bucks. They, they didn't know me as a rock star. They knew me as a Bucks. <laughs> the Bucks. The Bucks. So for those who do not know about uh, what's the meaning of Bucks is that I'm an old gentleman, unmarried. Okay. <laughs> or a woman. Yeah, so a lady who is not yet married at the early 30s or late 40s, possibly you know, 50s too. So <laughs> Maybe possibly forever. <laughs> that's true. They'll be so, single forever. <laughs> so that's actually the, the meaning of um, the, his song, Back. But it's uh, very catchy and it's, it's very... Uh, self-realizing for people who are not yet married, but it's not you know something that we should talk about. All right, so uh, thank you for answering that, John. So yeah, so you are known publicly now as Eagle Rock. Yeah, remember right. the page, the page, oh, the page. The page. I'm, using is Eagle Rock. So, I'm, I'm just okay with it. So what is uh, the future? Uh, you know, any plans? Any future or any? Anything that you will do in the future featuring Eagle Rock? Yeah, I plan to create more songs. 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 Hopefully, some of those songs will make it. Or, you know, uh, yung, yun yung something that will make my career. It will be my time. Naman na siguro. Parang gana. Parang gana. Like, almost mm. every artist from the ground trying to crawl up na umangat na lang sa career ni Reyes. They always um, hope na someday one of their songs or through their songs or through their musical journeys uh, makakuha naman rin sila ng break. So I hope makakuha rin naman ako ng break. Someday, hopefully. So I'm just gonna, you know, that, that, that's the future uh, plans that I wanna do. I uh, keep on making songs until something or some of those songs make it, hopefully. Okay. Well, that's a good answer. So, yeah, so are we going to expect a uh, surprise in the future? <laughs> a big surprise? <laughs> hopefully, yeah, yeah. There, there are great songs that I'm making. Uh, some are really serious. Some are really just funny again. Mm-hmm. Because that's what 
catches people's attention kasi medyo sawa na yata ang tao sa labi ng seryoso. Kasi nga sa stress ng buhay ngayon, ang daming problema ng tao, lahat na lang gusto na lang nila yung nakakatawa na lang. Para lang maka, ano yun, ma- ma- No wonder people like Kalokohan more than the serious things. Because mm-hmm. the serious things are like stress. Sila lalo. Uh-huh. Yeah, tama. Stress so free. there, uh, we have, uh, those are just my questions. And uh, we have some questions coming from other fans. Yes. Uh, I have yeah, um, marami kang friends, bro. Wow. Um, <laughs> I have? Yeah, marami, <laughs> talaga. Okay. Imagine you have a 500, more than 500 subscribers. That's not just what we call luck. Yeah. So that's how I feel yeah, like that's nice effort, right? So, oh, okay, this is actually a good question. Um, one of the fans, who is actually, she's actually a psychologist. So she was asking, can you uh, define in your own version or in your own explanation the meaning of blessed? Yeah, you've been blessed for 500, more than 500 subscribers. So how uh-huh. is that? Like? I'll, I'll define it, or maybe I'll just give another word for it. <laughs> no, no, actually, that's what, the that, define. It. Well, maybe if you say blessed, it's just like you were given a privilege. You were, you were privileged enough for a certain thing. So if I am blessed on my musical journey, I was given a privilege. So not everyone is given a privilege. So that's a blessing for you. It's something that you have to thank the Lord above or whoever you worship. It's, it's something you always have to thank. Uh, not, not, you don't own it to yourself. Eh? When you say blessed, it's something that you will appreciate not just because of your own uh, doing, but because it's a cumulative effort or it's a community work. That's why you're blessed because people supported you uh, or people love you. Mm-hmm. So it's not just you alone. Right? Mm-hmm. So you won't be able to do it if it was just you alone. So you're blessed. Being blessed is it's an outside force coming in to you. Yeah, it's not you going the other way or the outside but you can be a blessing too so that could be that's true yeah so it will be the inside force going up but for me if i'm if i'm being blessed then it's the outside force going okay into. good thank you very much so that answers your question miss psychologist miss so. psychologist from a psychologist <laughs> yeah shout out <laughs> yeah. all right so another question oh okay all right so another question is that who influenced you in regards to this music? Entering music, you like your career right now. Oh, it's my dad, Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> John Bon Jovi, yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, that time, yeah. My, my mom has a collection of cassette tapes. Cassette tapes, maybe kids now doesn't even know what cassette tape is. How uh, old are you now? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm old enough to be young. <laughs> but anyway, I am... Um, mom have a lot of cassette tapes and that's what that's what I always play. I always admire those skills, the, the awesome uh, creation of music that they do. So parang na na ako na. How do they do this? How do these people even imagine how to come like for example Bohemian Rhapsody? How did these crazy people even try to imagine that kind of song. How, how were they able to come up with that? Did the devil whisper to these ears, hey, you need to tap at young daughter, and you do it like this. It's, it's like for me, in my entire life, I'll never even imagine na kaya kong gumawa ng ganong klase na. And so I was inspired. I was inspired to, because of those people, the, the people from the 70s, 80s, 90s. Mm. They inspired me. And of course, people here, as all the musicians here, when I was in high school, instead of going to school, I was in class. 
para manood ng ano, uh, manood ng mga uh, concert. Uh, mga concerts, you know, uh, mga gigs. Yeah. Kahit doon ka lang sa gilid kasi wala kang pabili ng beer o bawal pa pang uminom kasi yung mga ito. So, nanonood ka lang, nanonood ka lang ng mga nasa gilid. gilid. Together with my church mates na pasaway rin. Uh, imagine mga hindi porke galing sa churches, you know, perfect. Mm -hmm. We all have our, ano, we all have our flaws, even if we say na we came from the church. But it doesn't mean we're evil people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just basically human, though. Yeah, but we're just the same. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're just, we're just trying to, uh, ano rin naman, uh, balance our personality once in a while. We have to check rin kung, oh, oops, uh, just kung sobra ka na dyan, pangit na mga galing mo, masama yan. It's something. Mm -hmm. We're aware. We're aware, at least we're aware, we're, aware. Uh, we're doing something good or good. doing something bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's true. Alright, anyway. So, there, that answers your question too. So, last one for you, the psychologist. So, uh, what musical guilty pleasure music do you have? Wow, oh, that's deep, but I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> musical guilty pleasure. So, that means that uh, you have a music that could influence other people that you really actually are, you know, a little bit guilty why they follow it. Ah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There are some songs, uh, I said to my kalukohan, I made kalukohan songs and then sometimes people love it, actually they love it. And so, yun nga, parang naano na lang ako minsan na, <laughs> so, kung ano pa yung mga medyo nonsense yung lyrics ko, yun pa yung gusto nila. So, syempre parang naano naman ako na, uh, I mean, for fun lang. So, ang daming, ano, di mag-back na nga ako. So, hindi na pala ako. Mga, so, uh, just, just a song. Don't take it seriously. You still have to take control of your life if you wanna get married. Get married. The song yeah. is just a song. You don't, I don't need to, I don't, you don't need to be influenced by it. It's just something for fun. It's just something to make you laugh. It's not something to really influence. Take it serious. It's right. just something that you have to take seriously. If you want to be in back, then fine. There's no problem with it. But if you want to be uh, married, then there's really no problem with it as well. So just, just take it as something fun. May mga kanta rin kasi ako about inum, inum, mga ganyan din. But, yeah, uh, yeah. I remember that. So, uh, yeah, but somehow I feel good about it. It's okay. <laughs> it's not something like, hey, kill yourself. No, no, it's not. It's not that. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't have that. But there's this particular song that it's not that I'm guilty. It's just it's something I wrote. Now. I don't know if I will feel guilty because when I posted it on Facebook, there's a foreign foreign person who was affected by that song. And then it kind of disturbed me, yung comment niya dun sa song. Yeah, it's time for me to go, sabi niya. So, sabi na para na ito. It's time for you to go. I don't want this song na maka influence na time for you to go. Like what? Gonna suicide? Gonna suicide? Sabi niya. So, sabi niya. No, that's. Because there's this song that I could eat. It's a very depressing song, kasi. It's called Melancholy. Called, that's why yeah, melancholy. it's called melancholy. And then uh, I really love the song because all my all my pain inside yeah. I place it in that song, cage it there. Para alam mo yan, parang ang hirap kasi parang yun yung naging outlet ko. Ang hirap na kinukimkim mo sa loob mo lahat ng pain na hindi mo ma-share sa ibang tao kasi you think they might not be able to understand. So I have to put it all in a song. And then it's a very painful song. So when I place it there, some people really like it because they feel like may store din nila yung mga pain nila through that song. Mm -hmm. So dun nila na iya, na, nagiging outlet nila. So instead na kinikimkim nila sa loob nila yung pain, na iya ano nila sa song. But there's a particular person yun nga, a foreign girl, na ano, <laughs> so I have to chat to picture para just to explain how I want the song to be. I don't I don't want to influence na maano siya. Something that happens or hurt her. So, so did you apologize? Yeah, I actually told her, explained to her that it's something like this, and I hope you understand the meaning about it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I hope that she's doing well. This is this the songs because I have a lot of songs now. It always talks about depression. I have a song called Face, and a lot of people were able to 
uh, relate with that song. Mm-hmm. Face is, besides, uh, I wrote it during the Mental Awareness Month mm-hmm. because I always care naman about sa, uh, I, I'm aware how people these days are easily depressed. Even kids are easily depressed. So I, yeah. I wrote those kinds of songs. I don't usually sing or write love songs. If you notice, I don't have much love. If I have love songs, na nakikita yung mga dalawa, tatlo. But most of my songs talks about life, the struggles in life, mm-hmm. how how we're trying to overcome, mm-hmm. how being ordinary can be extraordinary in some ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you would just listen to some of my songs, just give time. Maybe you'd appreciate some. Okay. So. You're planning to uh, create a new John Sawak album, right? I I really don't have. It's, it's not on my mind to create an album. Just create songs, maybe. Yeah. Create songs and just put it in YouTube or Facebook. Just put it online. I I really don't have a specific plan na uh, make it an album kasi ang hirap eh. Ang hirap gumawa ng album these days uh, for me na uh, struggling artist na uh, solo pa. Well, it's hard to afford yung production of album to my job. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko kakayarin. So, I had to. Uh, I just happy na ako dito. Sa make your songs, upload it online, makinig ang gusto mo maganig. If some people appreciate it, that's good. That's good enough for me. And then, ah, sa nalang ako sa ads. And then, if my, my, my makikita tayo sa ads. That's it. That's it. Well, it's a public support. Yeah, yeah. But I'm contented with that. I don't aim to be. I don't aim naman to be very rich. Well, I aim to be rich, but not not necessarily very rich. But if I can be very rich, then I'm sure. Why not? I, I would love that. Still yeah. <laughs> <No> money. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So I have a final question now. All right. Yeah. So I'm sorry for other uh, the fans who are ask uh, who have sent me a lot of questions lately because uh, we cannot really accommodate those questions because if I do if we do it's gonna take a whole day. Yeah. Right? Don't worry, we'll have a live stream soon. Yeah. Besides, there's yeah. gonna be a he's going to be have like a lot of live streams for the fans. You can ask questions. Don't worry, I won't answer yeah, sure. anything. <laughs> I'm lucky. <laughs> so there, the last question is that um, what do, what can you say to the people who really admire you? Like people, I've seen a lot of people nowadays that who's get uh, when they heard your name, like oh, I don't, right? Um, yeah, I, you know John Sama? Like yeah, I know him. But what what is it? So like oh, he's actually a funny guy. Yeah. Right. So he's actually handsome too, it's like for the girls. Mm. Right? So it's like, really? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, cut it short. Uh, what can? Uh, what is your message for him? Yeah. Actually, I have a very long message to those people, but to compress it, two words. Thank you. Really, thank you. You guys, you guys are the one building me up. Uh, you guys are my team. You're, for me, you are not fans at all. That's why I don't see people as my fans. I don't see people uh, who tell me, oh, I, don't, I, don't. I don't see them as fans. I, I see them as team members. Because they're part of the team. They're the ones uh, building the career that I wanted. Right? So they're the ones building me up. So they're the ones helping me with, with whatever I'm trying to achieve. So, they're, they're, they're more like supporters, but mostly team members. They're like that's how I see them, and just just a lot to say. Like you wanna appreciate them a lot, but you know you cannot describe it all. But really, thank you, man. Whoever you guys are, I know hindi lahat is makakapilala tayo. Parang you just see me on. You just see my face. You know my face. You don't really know me. And sometimes I just see you. I don't even remember those names but I try to remember every single name once in a while but uh, may nakikilala ako dun, sa, ano, along the streets uh, thank you guys I owe it all to you guys thank, yeah. you. thank you very much so this is introducing you know thank you very much uh, John for uh, thank you um, actually yeah 
for actually indulging this interview, long interview perhaps, because we just caught him uh, playing, or actually he is, you know, yeah. um, having his gig here in the exactly. Ipurot Cafe. He just caught me playing my, <laughs> my musical yeah. work. Musical <laughs> work. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so as you know, of this guy, I've known him for years, so what I know about John Salak is that he is really humble at the very beginning. He was a kid. He started like uh, a big dream. He wasn't just a small kid in a big dream and a big heart. So, and a big something too. And uh, he was like started with church and then after a few years later, here he is, starting to climb up again. Like exactly. Just, you know, he's not that like a celebrity. He's just like any human being, like you and me. It's just that he just has a long hair and wears makeup. <laughs> no, he yeah, didn't. So, <laughs> so there. Thank you very much for indulging this interview, uh, John. And uh, by the way, for the fans, for the people out there, you can actually find John here in Igor uh, Igor Cafe. Right, and he was always always going to uh, send you the schedule, right? And you can well, always you can follow his home. Yeah, follow his page. Just make sure to bring food. All right? <laughs> Check his Facebook as well, right? Yes. Yes. Um, it's the same, John J O N. J O N. And then Sawak. S A W A C. There it goes. Thank you, people. Have a good day. Bye bye. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.